Where am I today? Ah. The whole shit. It's all about that right there, right? All that we talk about. All that we try to figure out in politics climax is right in that building. The one, the only White House. Here in Washington, D.C. What am I doing here? Well, right now I'm getting hit by the tourist, the tourist effect. <laughs> I, have more to, I have more to say as, as the day goes on. Anyway, here in Washington, D.C., Mark Sconti reporting. And uh, the big event really was in where it was, was in Queens, New York, with Bernie Sanders. Damn, you heard Bernie Sanders in Queens, New York, pulled 26,000 people in Queens, New York, with Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez. Ah, speaking for him. Right? That was a great day, right? Bernie rocking the house, man, because it's really about the White House, right? That's what we're talking about. It's where you want to you you get there, you got to go over there. You got to go to Queens, right? And you got to talk to the people. Got to talk to the goddamn people, man. Look at this beautiful building over there. I wonder if Trump is in there right now. Is he somewhere else? I don't know. So um, AOC said something, and I want to talk about Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard is really the news of the day. I was traveling, so I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really paying attention. But Tulsi is still rocking the house. The Hillary Clinton stuff, right? Fuck you, Hillary Clinton, is what she's basically saying. Right? But um, Tulsi said, uh, uh, AOC said this. This is great. Every trick in the book, psychological and otherwise, is used to get us to abandon the working class. Wow. That's powerful. That's a powerful working class message, right? No doubt about it. And equally interesting is, is that I watched the uh, interview with um, Tulsi Gabbard and uh, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, and she said, um, Tucker Carlson said to her, said to Tulsi Gabbard, after they had a discussion, she said, Tucker said, I know, how, I know what you're going through. Because they did it to me. When you touch that subject of war. When you touch the subject of, of ending the regime change wars. Ending the you know, counterinsurgency nonsense that the United States is guilty of doing. When we don't have a legitimate enemy. That's when the establishment leans on you the most. They're trying to paint Tulsi Gabbard as a, a Russian puppet. A, a Putin puppy, right? A, a, a Assad apologist, right? All this nonsense, right? That doesn't really make any sense. Because of the military-industrial complex, very powerful lobby. Very powerful lobby. Uh, so Tulsi Gabbard wins, you know, so many points for, for taking on Hillary Clinton. God damn. He fucking taking Hillary Clinton to the mat. Huh? So... Hillary uh, Tulsi Gabbard said this. She said, I stand against everything that she represents about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh my God. If ever there were fighting words. I stand against everything she represents. That is a fucking... That is a statement, man. Uh, black squirrel. You want to see black squirrel? Cool squirrels. Very cool squirrels. So, just strolling the. Uh, I'll, I'll walk down the mall later. Go to the, do all the touristy things. See the Lincoln Monument again. I like the Lincoln Monument. That's where the um, the Covington kids uh, held off the black racists. You remember? <laughs> In front of the Lincoln Monument. But here it is. I mean, there's the White House. I mean, it's just. I guess you got to see it, right? There's. The fucking White House, and that's what the whole thing is about, right? The whole race is the race to that building right there. It's so much more serious than we than we give it any than we give it any thought, right? Because we think of it as a kind of a a talk show and a and a kind of a popularity contest. But if you win, this is what you get, man. You're surrounded by police. This is the real shit, man. It's the real deal. In there, this is the most powerful man in the world. 
arguably, right? Trump? <laughs> anybody could do that job, I think. I think if you put anybody with an IQ of about, you know, 140, 130, 140 in it, they could figure it out. But Trump won, man. So, so again, just a, a quick video. Kudos to uh, Tulsi Gabbard, really, for holding Hillary Clinton's feet to the fire. Damn. Damn, that is such a great thing when you say, say Hillary Clinton is the rot, the thing that is rotting the Democratic Party. Uh, a, a warmonger. Ooh. Right? That's the way you got to talk to Hillary Clinton. You don't, you don't, you don't play patty cake with, with, uh, with terrorists. She's on TV calling you a traitor, saying you're a, a, Russian, a Russian operative. You're a fucking sitting congresswoman, and Hillary Clinton's calling you a, 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 Russian, a Russian operative. What kind of shit is that, man? You take it to the mat. That's what Tulsi Gabbard did, man. More power to her. Don't stop there, Tulsi. Make a 10-minute video while you hate Hillary Clinton. Keep going. You got your boot on her throat. Right? You got your boot on her throat. Don't let her up. Right? You, you chopped off her leg. Now just lean on her and she'll fall over. Right? That's the kind of shit we need in politics. It's very, it's very uh, inspiring to see that. Right? It was for me to see that. Where all the things that we wish Bernie Sanders would have done or would do or whatever and never does, Tulsi Gabbard is doing it. The young, the young politician from, from Hawaii is doing it. There's no way on earth that they're going to give her the Democratic nomination. And I, I hope that she believes that and, and, and operate. If now she operates as a person with nothing to lose... She could get the she could get the the nod of the Green Party, and be do exactly what Bernie Sanders should have done. Let them call you a spoiler. Who cares? Because any nominee any nominee other than Bernie Sanders for the Democrats is a, is a win for Trump. For win for Trump, there's no doubt about it. Now, if if Bernie Sanders gets the nomination and Hill and and Tulsi Gabbard doesn't back him and tries to do a third party run. Well, that would be a little disgusting, and then we may have that may be a turning point for Hill, for for Tulsi, right? That would be very interesting, right? But if if Bernie does get the nod, which you know, again, they cheat, right? The whole thing is cheating. It's lying. It's cheating. The Democratic Party, the the polls are rigged. Everything's rigged, right? So can he get the nod to 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 get to the White House? Can Bernie Sanders do it? I don't know, man, but. What's good news is that Tulsi Gabbard is in the trenches, so is AOC, and Bernie Sanders pulled 26,000 people in Brooklyn, New York today, rising up, demanding that we give voice back to the working class. Marcus Conti reporting.